I think it was like around when I was 10. Yeah, 10 years old. Right after all that stuff happened to me as a, as, I wanna say as a kid. I look at myself like I turned into a grown man after 10. Um, after, you know, the molestation and, and all that stuff that happened from age four to nine, by the time I was 10, I, I started like waking up. It was like a feeling that I had it every day that like, um, I just felt that I had like no purpose, like no direction. My, my dad was trying to make a family with, with a, another lady. I've had like a lot of stepmom, so like I, I just felt completely lost. And I would look around and see like my friends and, and their families. I would see the families on, on TV, you know, living mini, meaningful lives with like direction, like future. I didn't see that in mine. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron the Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, time it is. Subense la sopulpa, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron the Strong. I started running away at about age 11. I would spend most of my days walking around on the street from Cicero, like Roosevelt, all the way to 59th, 79th and Pulaski. I was always looking for money and, and food. I mean, that's, that's what I, I did most of those days. I had to do some really bad things sometimes just to be able to eat and sleep at places. And, and this was the time that I really haven't talked about. It's a time that I'm not really proud of. I, I jumped around from gang to gang, pretty much just doing whatever I had to do to, to survive and stay alive. Um, the, the streets of Chicago are, are I mean, they're, they're hell. They're, they're dark, um, they're cold. Uh, every day was a, a fight to not get killed, uh, not get raped, not get, you know, um, there's a lot of grown people in these dark streets that take advantage of a lot of young kids that don't have nowhere to go. And it's, it's, it's a part of my life that I really never talked about just because of all the gangs that I was involved with, you know, I, I jumped around and I was almost like a chameleon. I had to pretend to be somebody else every time I was with somebody different. I was always somewhere that I shouldn't have been at, <laughs> always. And sometimes it came close to me getting killed, sometimes people got killed around me. Uh, it was constantly just flight or fight all, all the time and just walking around, trying to survive, because you know, you would walk through through neighborhoods there were different gangs, and it was just, like I said, being a chameleon, blending 
in in, in plain plain sight because it was going from neighborhood to six to the KGBs to the land counts to the guest boys to the Ambrose like it was just constantly trying to be somebody else every time and, and remember I was 11 years old and I was already experiencing the murders the, the money the drugs the sex like watching people just yeah but then after that that feeling of me not having a purpose or, or direction kind of just drove me to the streets. That's when I really started from putting in the work for, for my gang and just living for the gang, you know, being out there all day, participating in shootings and just doing what you had to do. Well, most of us go through life with that feeling. We just like to disguise it with other stuff. Sometimes we disguise it with our pain, sometimes we dis we disguise it with our traumas, but it's it's always there. God gave us these dreams, these hopes for a reason. And I'm gonna start off just by saying nothing happens without God ordaining it. Trying to discover your purpose at any age, whether it's 10 or 40, can be stressful, I know. But if you truly want to find purpose, start by doing God's will, and you'll find your purpose. God's will is written in scripture and ready for you to be able to learn it, act it, talk it, and be it. Follow it, and I promise you, you will find your purpose. You know, at the beginning of my whole walk, everything, I started to learn. I didn't understand really like the concept of me sharing my story and, and, and telling you what God has done in my life because as time goes on, the testimony tra transfers from, from your life to his life. So at the end, you're, you're, the story is about him, <laughs> you know? <laughs> It, he starts to transform you, and then it's all about him. He gets the glory. He gets the trophy, you know, like, yeah, he, he ordained everything bad to be used as good. What you think about that? Hey, my name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Hey, if you're truly, truly seeking for your purpose, Find him. Trust me. It's in that book. We only have one book. Us Christians, that's it. One book. Trust me, you'll find your name in there. My name is JC. I am Wrong Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage and remember. Live for him. <laughs>